Welcome to Good Mythical More. I brought my spoons from my kitchen and we're gonna explore which ones that the mythical crew would use and I'll tell them how wrong they is are. Is that all the spoons from your kitchen? Your, your, your family is without spoons now. Uh, <laughs> just like, that's no, it. I have, uh, <laughs> I have multiple of each one. But first, let's play Who You Talking About. This is when we read a comment that one of y'all made and it's about either me or him. Okay, or those two brothers. <laughs> yeah, right. Alice. Magnani says, sometimes blank scares me. The Gollum style dialogue was one of those moments. Like talking to himself? I almost remember this. We have both done this. I actually saw somebody tweet about this the other day. I was I did something where I was talking to myself and I was like, you can do it, you can do it. And you said, who are you talking to? And I said, myself. And you said, is he listening? I, I, I said, no. Yes, that was it. So, so this is that is, it? This was it, yeah, this is right. Oh, oh no, you must have also done it. What? Gollum's? I just have to come to grips with the fact that I don't like sriracha. I don't. Yes, you do. You should be Everybody ashamed. does. No, I don't like you it. You should be ashamed. I just, I have to be honest. Don't, don't be honest. Everyone would judge you. I, 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 I have to be honest. I just don't who love you, it. Who it's garlicky. To? It's not, well, listen, that, that bearded guy next to you is just going to make fun of you. He's going to belittle you for not liking sriracha. No, I'm well, way You know what? So be it. I'm, I'm way past that. That's who I am. Who be I am. <laughs> I, it's apparently something we both go to. Yeah, right. Well, who did it first? That's the real question. I Stay did it tuned. first. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, so uh, a man doesn't just bring in his spoons for anybody. So I yeah, just well, want you, you to just, know that this is an. This tell me is, what's happening. This is a vulnerable moment for me. You know, this is this is opening my drawers for you. <laughs> I'm dropping my drawers. <laughs> oh, you're asking me. I thought Link was gonna say. Well, the the inspo behind this whole thing was a a, a TikTok uh, that actually I saw uh, that really struck me. <laughs> um, are we gonna play? You've been spending that too clip? much time on TikTok. I have I to know. find out yeah. from this display. Get back to work. Of choices. Oh, so of it's a mom. Spoons, <laughs> which would you choose for your choice? Pull the glasses for up. For eating cereal. Oh, the cereal <laughs> spoon. Seriously. Oh my god. The one I would never there would be like yeah. for serious. Yeah, somebody like went one. wild. Just oh yeah, wow, right? but you don't want that one. It would hurt your like lip. Oh yeah, you cut the both sides of your I mouth. Always choose. I've had this in my family for a long time. I would never go to this. <laughs> wow, so she's a big spoon lady. See, she yeah. has specific spoon opinions, as do I. And of course, I knew immediately that Link would have specific uh, spoon opinions. Yes. Yeah. I mean, when so, you asked for me to take photos of my spoons, I thought that they were gonna be in a lineup of other Mythical crew members taking pictures of their spoons too, but I didn't know it was gonna be just a Link spoon thing. Mm. But okay. But now that it is. I'm happy. You, we know that you have well, a Well, because you spoon. can play with any <laughs> anyone's spoon collection, but essentially we're, we okay. asked the Mythical crew, like for the first one, for example, is which spoon would you choose for soup? And then we had the Mythical crew vote so we have the vote results of uh, of which spoon they would choose. But first, before I reveal that, the question goes to you. Yep. Which spoon would you choose for soup? You don't want to keep that in suspense? <laughs> uh, well, I think we should give her, I mean, if, if this was clam chowder and I wanted to be on theme, I would use this one. Can you say a number, please? Uh, that would be spoon number six, the uh, the one that looks like a clam or something. A scalloped spoon, but I mm. would. But it's that's been down only, the garbage that's disposal. That's only apparently. when eating uh, clam chowder. I typically for soup, I would go to spoon number four. Okay, this one. It's a little bit bigger than a small spoon, but it's not so big that you get a lot of spillage. And I have a small mouth. I mean, I'm, I am taking that into account. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you right now that. Th we have the most of these two spoons. So number three and number five. Number three and number five are the ones that you have the most of. This one that you picked number four is kind of a red herring. I think we may, we have two of these, maybe only one. I think you're misinterpreting the game, Link. <laughs> a red herring? I'm not playing the game. Oh yeah. no, we need to know which well, spoon you, you would choose for soup. Well, I know. I'm just pointing out that you're just in terms of what's in your kitchen. You would like Rhett to know how many of each spoon you have. This is a red yeah. herring, apparently the one I chose. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a misdirect. Spoon. Uh, I would choose this one. This is uh, number three, which is what I chose. No, you okay. chose number four. Oh yeah. So yeah, you're right. 
the majority of the crew would choose spoon number three, 39%. Mm -hmm. The spoon that you chose, Rhett, spoon number four. Yeah, it's for babies. The only other person to choose spoon number four on the entire crew was Ammo, and he is here to uh, voice his opinion in, a, in, in the way that he agrees with you, I What's suppose. up, Ammo Spoon Bro? What's up, Brett? Oh, he's there. <laughs> I thought he, I thought he's everybody's always on video chat. And he's like, whoa, he sounds so clear. Did you get a new? Has he got a new microphone? He's in the room. Get him out of here. What, what's your, Put him what's on his reasoning? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. It's uh, it's bigger than five and six. Yeah, but not so big for three. Right. Yep. Where I can still have. If I just want soup, I want soup. But if I'm eating Campbell's chunky soup or menudo or pozole. I just want the little veggies or the ingredients. I'll just eat that only. So it's a little bit, there's a little bit both for me. And yeah. you, you know what I'm gonna tell you? You and Rhett are actually correct. This is the superior choice. <laughs> because this spoon, you, you can't tell, but it's deeper. It has a deeper well than any other spoon in, in, in terms of Yeah, in, you, can't, you can't tell that. From that picture, though. I don't know what this spoon is supposed to be used for. Soup? I never use it for anything. Soup! But now I'm going to use it every time for soup, but I got to find it. It's need, always hidden. You need to sharpen There's it. There's only one, maybe two in you the drawer. You need to scratch it with a big so It's like a special soup. spoon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Cereal. Spoon bros. Let's spoon cereal bro. I is the one, so. question. Which spoon yeah. would you use for cereal? Okay, Red, I'll let you give your answer. In, use, use this here, even though they're here for... You get the benefit of actually seeing them, you know, not just the photo. Okay, then I'll, I'll look at the picture okay. as my, okay, cereal, cereal, cereal. Do you want to see one of them go in my mouth? I can definitely do that for you. Uh, I'm back again at spoon number four. Oh, you're back at four. I, the same principles that apply to soup apply okay. to cereal because cereal is a soup. Okay, let's see what people, I'm, I'm, I'll save the correct answer to the end. The majority of the mythical crew Chose spoon number four. Okay, for number cereal. four. Yeah, the red herring. Why did yes. you guys go from three to four from soup? The to red cereal? herring, no. Uh, but uh, Caleb was the only one who chose spoon number seven. Um, <laughs> okay. Because it's fun. <laughs> he's not. He's not here right now. But he prepared a statement for me okay. to read on his behalf. Got it. I picked seven for cereal, soup, and ice cream because small spoons keep me from demolishing my food instantaneously. I get that. I get that. Um, yeah, that is not the correct answer. Uh, uh, the correct answer for cereal is uh, number three. That was the second most chosen uh -huh. spoon. It's, it's the biggest spoon that you Isn't can still get your, get your mouth around. See that? See that? I don't know if I can get my mouth around See that? that. And I'm not gonna find See out. See this now. right here, this right, I don't know. If you eat cereal with a spoon that big, you, I, yeah, I hope you do it alone. <laughs> now, if, if I hope it, no one is watching, I eat cereal alone a lot. Yeah, well, you should use the biggest spoon you can find. And <laughs> if I'm out of this one, I would rather go. Of course, I'm going to find the red herring if I can. But I would, I'll go to this. You know, I like to go to a slotted spoon for cereal every once in a while, uh, just so I can get just the cereal, no milk. Yeah. Wow. Um, ice cream is the next one. Okay. Okay. Uh, for ice cream, I'm going to spoon number five. I'm going down in size <clears throat> because again, this is a pacing issue for me. Right here. And also ice cream <laughs> uh, can give you ice cream headaches, otherwise known as brain freeze, and you're less likely to get it with a size five. That's a good rationale. Link, are you saving your, the right answer? Uh, always. Okay. I mean, spoon uh, number well, eight this is one too small. was a tie. So if you had to pick another one, Rhett, in addition to five, because five was one of them. Don't pick the red hair. Do you have you? another one? I mean, I feel like I guess I would go four because there's no reason to go to the to the yeah, ocean. Yeah, it's three. Ocean. Three and five. They tied. Three and five. Yeah. What's, what's wrong with four? Um, four. You know what? Four was is not as pointed. Place. Four was third, third and place. five, three and five both have a point, and the four is rounder. I haven't thought about that. Nick was the only one who chose number eight. <laughs> Nick, I don't, 
please. Or ice cream? Nick, what's going on, man? What's wrong? Um, well, I like to think about what kind of spoon you're served when you taste ice cream when you go into a fancy shop. True. Oh, And that's a always spoon. a really tiny little spoon, as small as you can get it. Um, so that was my choice here. It's a bronze so here, sample spoon. Here's the problem. I can't even get that to come out the other side of my hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's... You might I have got, too big of hands. I got no leverage on this spoon. <laughs> I need leverage for ice cream. Leverage is a good point. This, Christy... She started buying these oh, my, my damn wife, sh sh coffee stirring my, my spoons. My wife has so many so of these. So many of these. And you know, what they, you know where they end up? Garbage disposal. Yeah. Right in because, there. Because whoop, go down. And if you put them in the dishwasher like that, that goes through the bottom, and then when you try to open the thing, it gets stuck. Yeah, so, it's a racket. So you have to put it in upside down, which drives me nuts. I hate yeah, these. Right. I'm gonna throw this one away right now. Well, well, well. Okay. But I'm gonna dig it think, out later, I, I because my, my wife, wife. My wife might want it. I'm gonna dig it out right Before now. Before we move along, I do wanna remind you that we have an Amazon store. We've done that, and it has a logo wear. That's one of the things that we're, that we're calling, uh, you know, like clothing with our logos on it. Uh, there's classic designs, Merch there's exclusive so designs. There's things that can be printed quickly and shipped quickly. So if you're a very impatient person. Prime! You want that Prime ship and go to Amazon.com slash mythical to check it out. All different stuff than what you get over at mythical.com. We didn't. The, the correct the, answer yeah. is three. Okay, Why? so so that Why? was one of the top two. Because I use this spoon for everything. There's only. Hold on. Why do you use three you, for so many things? For the same reasons? Because it's big enough? Because I know how it feels in my mouth and I like it. But you eat things so slowly. But you know what? The way you eat when ice cream I eat ice is cream, you take right. it out and you leave it on the spoon. Right. Right. So that every spoonful gives me two bites. That's something that I didn't account for. Is that you? Eat so ice I cream do ration in a weird fashion. Okay, we're going to yogurt. Is the next spoonable? I'm glad. Item. Ooh. I'm glad we're going here. Oh, yogurt, huh? Okay. Yep. Yogurt. Yeah. You know, I like gogurt. So I, this is not, I don't use a spoon. I like to squeeze yogurt directly into my mouth. So I'm confused when it comes to spoons. Okay, you're abstaining. If I had to choose, if you bat me into a corner, five. I'm, a, I'm not gonna back you into a corner and feed you yogurt. You eat this yogurt. Same principle as ice cream. So red herring. By far, number five was the, the spoon that everyone chose, 55%. Yeah. Of the mythical oh, group five. chose five. This is, this is actually five. Yeah, that's a good spoon. Now, That's a good all-purpose spoon. Really. Celeste chose spoon number six, okay. and uh, <laughs> she, she's on the line to tell she, us why. She chose the Celeste, red Celeste, what's going on here? Um, well, yogurt is oh. kind of boring, not going to lie. So I think it might be a psych psychological thing behind it, but... Okay. <laughs> did we lose you, or did your point just end? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Okay. You said it okay. might be a psychological thing, but. But uh, getting the scalp spoon kind of makes it a little fancy and makes yogurt taste a little bit better. Okay, you know what? As one who uh, spread a rumor in middle school that shaking your food makes it taste better, which is not true, uh, I can I can get behind that. What is the stated purpose of, you're calling it the scalloped spoon? Is that correct? I think this is for like, it's like a sugar dispenser or. You're not supposed to put it in your mouth. I think it's a fancy dispenser spoon. You don't ever put it in but your But I mouth. don't know for sure. Unless you want to be fancy, a fancy yogurt lady. I would say, she is so right. You're right, look, a sugar, a sugar spoon, spoon is same. a piece of cutlery it's, it's used for serving granulated sugar. Same thing as this. The bowl is deeper and often molded in the shape of a seashell, giving it the same, the name sugar shell. Sugar shell? Sugar shell, it's a shell that you fill with sugar. You were very close, because, wow. Um, the correct answer is the minion spoon. For because, yogurt? Yeah, just because yogurt, you do need to pace yourself with yogurt, and it's, you need to tap into your, your younger self with eating the fun yogurt, because you need to pace yourself because there's not that much yogurt. Do you leave yogurt on the spoon? Do you, do you slide no. it in? And... No, I just, I, I, I go full. So go you full. go to your drawer and you pick the minion spoon to eat your yogurt. Is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> you like so you you seek it out. Now, what if somebody it's fun. what if it's somebody fun. else has it, used it? It makes it a treat. Okay, if you go to the drawer, well, minion spoon is in the is in is in the dirty clothes. I was gonna say the washing machine. 
Where do you where do you go? Do you wash it or do you just go up to spoon we, five? We have a bunch of spoons oh, yeah, that are this size that don't have a minion. So you go with a smaller spoon. The other reason is you can get into the nooks and crannies, like the corners of the of the yogurt. I feel and like I can cranny you, anything you can cranny with spoon number five. My go-to spoon will not get as much I of agree the yogurt with that, out. But five will do it. You got The smaller you go, the more yogurt you can scrape out without having to stick your tongue down in but there. But if it's gogurt, you just take the bottom and just <laughs> right. suck and squeeze at the same that, time. That is the, that is yeah, the right the And then you rip it open and you lick it out. Yeah. Okay, this is, the, um, this is the one question I feel like the expertise is, is more balanced between the two put, of you because it's um, baked beans. Is. Baked beans is oh. what I'm looking for right now. Some beans on that ooh, spoon ooh, right ooh, there. Ooh, feel ooh, how big ooh, that ooh, is ooh, in your ooh, mouth. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just open your mouth and feel how big it is. I don't want to. I don't want to put your spoons in my mouth. I haven't put this one in my mouth. I don't. I don't. I don't know that. It was right next to the one that you did put in your mouth. This one. <laughs> baked beans. Now I will say that typically when I'm eating baked beans, I'm already eating everything else with a fork, mm. and so I use. Even though I don't agree that it is a better utensil for baked beans, I typically eat baked beans with a fork. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, but spoon number four. The red herring. Is the baked bean spoon. It is deeper. And you know what? I think you're right. I just, I, I don't, it gets lost in the mix. I go to my go-to. Well, the majority of the mythical crew number chose number four, yeah. followed closely by number three. So I guess you're both... Correct. Um, number four is a great spoon. I just haven't. You need to experience four more. I need more. to go to four. I need to go to the yeah. to the deep. Yeah. Well, I think it's a serving spoon because we only have two of them. Yeah, I'm serving beans right into my mouth. Paisley was one of two people that picked spoon number five. And guess what? He is here to tell you why. He's present. He's right there. Okay. <laughs> I need to go back to spoon seven because I cannot believe you don't pick that for ice cream. Are you talking about leverage? Getting that rounded end into the ice cream, the cold ice cream? That's okay. the perfect spoon for ice cream. Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been holding it in. I picked spoon five because honestly, I was trying to find the red herring spoon and I got mixed up. And so, <laughs> uh, I just went with like the next closest spoon. You knew but, one of them had to be a yeah, red herring. And like, it's close to this one that I'm looking for. There's <laughs> like one or two of these in Link's house. Yeah. It's so tempting. What do you mean by red herring? Uh, it's tempting to choose and it, and it, it, it draws the eye but it's never, it's, it's never the right answer. Never the right answer. It doesn't lead to anything. Wow. But you know what? I'm wrong, and I actually want to apologize. I, I have guilt associated with my underuse of uh, spoon number four. Uh, but four. you have to have spoons that burglars will, will steal instead of the spoons that you want. That's right. the red herring right. spoons. I don't, the reason why I haven't used it is because I don't want to get dependent on it, and there's only one or two yeah. in the drawer. You know, and then I'm having to wash it all the time, so I never even treat myself. I have a layer of silverware that is on top, and then there's a trap door. Beneath it is the silverware that we use. The ones on top is for the burglars. Oh, dang. Yeah. They take it, and I'm like, ah, I don't even care. I got that at Target. <laughs> when Chrissy and I were uh, getting married and we had to do our registry, the only thing I weighed in on was the silverware, and it's we're still using it 21 years later. This is it. as someone who doesn't have a lot of opinions about these kinds of things. I can, I can definitely say you can make a wrong choice with silverware. Recently, we were getting yeah. low on some utensils, and I was just like, I kind of feel like we're always needing spoons. Jesse uh, went out, got some new spoons, and it was a whole set. Ooh. The this part of each one of the uh, utensils mm -hmm. is taller than it is wide, so it's not flat here. And you would think this is a small thing. You, you it is the most annoying thing to hold. It's like you hold the spoon yeah. and it like go it like you can't they won't settle on your finger. And it's like back and forth like this. I got very upset, very upset about this. I you know what? Good for you. Did no, you return we, them? No, we haven't done anything about it. I mean, I just avoid them. I use the spoons that you were, have to actually that were use in, in low low uh, circulation. I mean, you gotta like be in the store, like eat. You gotta eat things in the store. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the burglars would take those, but burglars.
Get exclusives, additional colorways, and prime shipping over at our Amazon store. Check out amazon.com slash mythical now.